If you're like me and you're looking to make passive income with digital products, then this is the video for you. All right, so what is passive income? If you've been around my channel since I've started, you'll know that my goal has always to become a digital nomad and make passive income. You will also know that I do have a nine to five as well as creating my passive income. But will that always be the case? No, my goal with passive income is to create a life that I want, which means I want to travel, I want to live in different areas. Will I be working all the time? Sure, but not working a 40 hour work week and things like that. So that's one of my goals and one of my main reasons for creating passive income. So let's talk about what passive income is. I'm pretty sure you've heard the term by now. Everyone is talking about it, whether it is creating passive income as a side hustle or as your main hustle. Everyone nowadays wants to create passive income. But let's talk about what it really means to create that. So creating passive income means that you're not really doing much of a lot of the hands-on day-to-day -day work when it comes to creating that income or making income, making money. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to work. That just means that you work once, twice, as opposed to, again, a 40-hour work week. And if that's something that you really want to do, this is where passive income is going to be good for you, depending on what kind of business you have. So, for example, if you own an Etsy shop and you're creating custom glasses, mugs, custom art pieces, you're not really creating income passively. That's more of a, as a starter, as a side hustle. So I really want to differentiate between what passive income is and what side hustling is. Um, interchangeably, they can be both. You can have a passive income that's a side hustle. You can have a side hustle that is not necessarily considered passive income. And so if you have an Etsy shop that you are creating custom work, you want to try to get at least some passive income within your shop, right? You don't want to sit and create everything all the time. So if you have an Etsy shop, you want to create a... So if you have an Etsy shop that's a little more hands-on and not just Etsy, if you have a shop overall and it's more hands-on, you're making custom things constantly all the time, you want to try to think of ways that you can make passive income from the things that you already sell. So for example, if somebody is... If you know your best seller is making mugs, making birthday mugs, you know, when someone is celebrating a birthday, a 21st birthday, instead of you actively creating happy birthday journal, which is a more custom, you can sell the templates and just say happy birthday and sell those so that the client themselves can go ahead and stick those on their mugs. So that's a good way of creating passive income from your business. So passive income may mean something different for you than it does for me. So that's passive income as a whole. For me, it means being able to move around in different places live different places, experiences, new things while still creating that income. Now, yes, I am a YouTuber, but YouTube is not my main income. YouTube is not something that I aspire to do full time because this is not passive, right? I have to sit down and record. I have to think of topics. I have to edit. I have to, even if I have an editor, I still have to send off the information. I, I may have times where I have branded content that I have to send off to the brand and get it approved and things like that. So is it something that I aspire to do full time? No. So this I do not consider passive income. So what I consider passive income is all my digital products that I currently have in my Etsy shop as well as my website. Today I'm going to talk about three types of digital products that you can do for your business. I already gave an idea of what digital products you can kind of do for your on-hands Etsy shop, but let's talk about some other forms of digital products that you can create so that you yourself, just like me, can go anywhere, do anything, make passive income without having to work. Passive income for me is really going hard once, creating that product, editing, whatever it is that you're going to do with it creating it once and having it live on forever. So the name of the game here is to make sure that your products are evergreen. 
or try to make almost all of your products evergreen there's going to be a few things that you may need to update from time to time depending as time changes but really try to make things evergreen things that can live on forever whether it's a blog and you're monetizing your blog make contents make blog posts that can be found 10 10 20 years from now and still very relevant but that's exactly why you work on a plan you have your days where you actually sit down and do that whether it's your va your assistant or whether you yourself do that once a week to make sure that everything's up and running because with digital products it can be really really easy to kind of set it and forget it and not update if something is broken maybe your website went down for a week and all of a sudden it doesn't work trust me it's happened to me so you just want to make sure that you're on top of it just like your house you you clean your house once a week twice a week whatever it is you kind of get on that schedule it's the same thing with cleaning house with your website and your products and your etsy shop or you know your shopify whatever it is you just kind of want to stay on top of it so that it can continue to constantly make you money so today we're going to talk about three types of digital products that you can do for your business the first one is going to be online courses and webinars so with online courses and webinars i really want you to think about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis what you teach your clients what your business is about even if you're making stickers and people want to know how to make them how can you package that to reach more people right so if you're a coach and you're a life coach business coach how can you package something that you teach your clients every single client think about how you can package what you tell your clients over and over again that you can package into a course into a webinar you've seen all of those courses and webinars how to use seo to grow your pinterest how to use seo to grow your etsy shop um using social media for whatever these are the things that coaches and business coaches and, and social media managers that's what they teach to their clients that's what they go over to their clients and they've managed to package that into a course a course that anyone online can find so really teach what you know it takes some time but the beauty is that once you've gone through creating that course taking the time to edit to, to outline what you need to say to get all your product images whatever the case is once you do all that back work trust me it takes a while to do it will live on it will live on and you will be able to sell it over and over again you'll be able to market it in different ways you can do sales on it for black friday this and that and the third and really just bring in new customers all the time without you really doing much so number two is principles think about what you do in your business that you can create a principle for for example if Again, if you in the coaching business and you have a workbook that you use from client to client, kind of the same thing over and over again, think of offering that as a principle that that person can print at home in their spare time and work on it whenever they want. So example, in creating evergreen products, you want to think of something that can withstand the test of time. You don't want to say, this is a planner for 2022 when 2023 is coming up and you would have to change dates and all of that so think of stuff that's undated think of workbooks um things like that these can also become just digital products these items can be printed as well as used digitally so because digital planning and using a digital note-taking app like GoodNotes and Notability and OneNote, you're able to now offer two different ways of someone consuming your information, whether that's, again, print it out so that they can put it in whatever notebook they decide to or use digitally. Either way, you've reached clients that you don't necessarily have to have a one-on-one -on -one thing, which in then turns making passive income another thing you can make is graphic design these can be as simple as a saying if you've seen all of these different types of prints for the home that say things like coffee first or you know any one of those sayings you can make that you can make that yourself put your own twist on it you don't necessarily have to be a designer but you want to infuse your own type of personality and creativity into it so that you stand out above anyone else who's creating the same type of print right so ray dunn is an example of this right she makes mugs and cups and all of that that have just basic sayings but her font is what makes it different the way she puts things on a 
um, one of her signature styles is a matte black mug with white lettering so that contrast is something that she's known for but it's really her font and the and the people that collect them go to her because of this font so you can try to think of something that's super creative that's going to be unique even though you are still using the same phrases that maybe somebody else do but put your own spin on it and you can have these on your shop as downloadable printables people can print out in poster size kind of like this where you can't really see it but this is a poster that I made. Um, I'm going to show you just a few ones that I made for Halloween. Just a, It's from old poems from back in the 1800s or whenever the heck. And I just made it to look like a book style even with the font itself. So it's something that's basic that can be found out there. But I decided to put my spin on it in order to create a principle. Now what makes it passive again is I made it once but every year around Halloween is going to live on because it's evergreen. Halloween is every single year, it doesn't change. I haven't added any years to it and so it's going to live on whenever anyone's looking for anything Halloween decor they're going to come across this particular print or these particular prints. So think of what evergreen items that you can create that can live on and on every single year to create that passive income. You can also make custom print on demand things like custom t-shirts, notebooks, and mugs. And here's the thing you may be asking. If I'm making notebooks and mugs and t-shirts, how is that passive? But here's how. You can use a drop shipping company that you can make that design once and every time a customer places an order, that company will handle your packaging, your shipping, they will print that saying or whatever you've created that will print it on whatever product you choose and mail it out to that client so you do nothing literally you make that design make it once upload it to their system and they will handle sending it out to that client on the respective piece that they chose whether it's a mug a notebook even like those tote bags whatever it is is your design is going to live on and on and on and again as i mentioned throughout this entire video is to try to make it evergreen something that's not just a trend a, a saying like you're not gonna you're not gonna put something like for example on fleek on something that will only generate income for the time being the time that that wording is kind of hot but after a while you know with these trendy words they're not going to live on forever so you want to think of things that are a little more evergreen so that you yourself are not doing as much work now are there times that you can do seasonal sayings and seasonal things that may pertain to one year like if if you know people were doing tons of covid stuff i survived covid or whatever absolutely but know that that time is not going to be considered as passive as the other times so you want to have kind of a mixture of both things you want to have things that you can create custom or that will need more hands-on for your business but then have the majority of your items be passive income so for my third and last thing for this video i have tons of ideas for digital products just keep coming back to this channel create an exclusive membership and here's why your first thought and my first thought even was how is a membership passive well here's how there's many ways to do a membership a lot of business coaches have a membership area where they send their clients to get their PDFs, their workbooks, their homework, their whatever, and be part of a community. Well, you can create the same thing passively. This will allow you to not show up as often, maybe create new things once a month. This particular method is going to be a little less passive than the other methods that I just talked about. This is going to be a little bit more hands-on, but still passive enough to kind of be in that same realm. So here's an example of that. I have a few different membership clubs. Some are more active in, some I'm less active in. And the one that's a little more passive and a little less taking of my time is my planning community. So in the community, I'm able to give back to by offering them a discount as long as they are a part of the planning community that allows them to shop at a discount for any of my products. That being said, is a very low cost it allows them to feel part of a community, part of the in crowd, if you will. And one of the perks is not only getting a discount, but getting freebies that I don't offer to anyone else 
also getting any products any digital planning products that I may put up a week before anybody else um, they're part of a newsletter that tells them what is coming up so they know what to expect from the shop and even little video that I may want to do explaining how to do something or a discount on a future course or anything like that but by using this I formed an exclusive membership community again the cost is low but the feeling that they get from being part of this community is much bigger than what I could do and now I don't have to be on this platform 24 7 I don't have to show up if I don't want to the offer codes I change them about every three to four months depending on people come and go I put up freebies when I want to so even though I have to do a little bit more work than the other products that I mentioned, it still allows me to do a little bit less work. And I know it sounds funny to say less work, but it allows me to be able to do this work from anywhere. If I'm working on this a little bit more than let's say my digital products, I can dedicate a little bit more time to the membership club, maybe throw in another video. It's it's kind of like what YouTubers do with their Patreon, right? Where they have that exclusive community so people can feel like they're part of the in crowd and they can go there to get things that other people don't necessarily get that the creator has put in more emphasis to this membership club. It's kind of the same thing and it's big. It's one of the biggest things in marketing for big companies, they know this. And that's why they offer you exclusive memberships to get discounts, to get all of that. You know, all that stuff that you sign up for, all those perks. They're not only building their email list, they're building their community of the ins, the people that are into what is coming up for them, what is coming out, special discounts, special perks, and all of that. So I want you to really think of that when you are creating your own community. You can do this. It doesn't have to be high cost like my planning membership is five dollars a month yeah you can go when you want to go it allows me to again make a community have them be part of something have them feel like they're getting exclusive things from me at a low cost so with that i really want you to think about these three digital products that you can start creating today for passive income but I want to leave you with this. I want you to know that just because you love doing something, whether that's crafting or knitting or sewing or whatever the case is, doesn't mean it's going to translate into a business. Not everything that you do as a hobby needs to be a business. So I really want you to think of the things that you can do to gain passive income. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of ideas on this channel. So I really want you to stay tuned to it. So the question of the video is this. I want to know what digital products you're currently making out of the three I just mentioned. How is it working for you? Let me know and share with the community of what that looks like for you. Is it gaining you? Do you need more ideas, etc.? Two, if you haven't delved into digital products, which one of these three that I mentioned today seems the most appealing to you? Which one you definitely want to run into and get going? I will be back with more digital products that you can make for passive income, more ideas to give you. Please join the newsletter because I drop a lot of these ideas in the newsletter. It's called the Life Edit Newsletter. I'll put the link down below. Every two weeks, I send out an email that gives you three creative ideas for your business, two things I'm loving at the moment, whether that's a physical product or anything like that, that you may be interested as well and one action step to take that week or that month or whatever have you so join the link again is going to be down below as always thank you again for watching this video for getting into digital products with me and building that business and the life that you really want let's do it and so i will see you again next tuesday please subscribe please share with someone who's looking to create digital products and i will see you again in the next video if you're looking to if you're looking to make passive income if like me you're looking to create passive income using digital 